So let's think for a second. What is something that you are thankful for? I'm thankful for my kids and my entire family and the food that I have to eat every day and clothes to put on. I'm thankful for my new glasses that let me be able to see. I have all kinds of things to be thankful for and I bet you do too. So this week, what I would love for you guys to do, you don't have to do it all today, but I would love for you to tell your mommy or daddy or grandparents or your brothers or sisters, whoever, I would love for you to tell them 10 things that you are thankful for. We'll understand a little bit later why the number 10 is so important, but I want you to try to think of 10 things that you're thankful for, okay? And even if you want, you could maybe have mommy or daddy even send me a message sometime this week because I would love to know what all you're thankful for, okay? So that's something I want you to keep in mind and start thinking about, things that you're thankful for. So have you ever had a bump or a bruise or an ouchie on you? I bet you have. I know I have, and I know my kids always do. Well, you see, whenever we get those bumps or bruises on us, we always make sure that mommy or daddy or somebody puts salve and a band-aid on it and that makes it all better and in a few days it's all gone maybe even the next day it's all gone and all better well back in the time when jesus was still on earth with us there were men that well not men not just men men and women that would get this boo-boo that was called leprosy and they would get all these ouchies on their skins and it was so sore and they hurt so bad well, whenever they got those, they weren't allowed to be around anybody. They had to move out of the city. They couldn't be with their family. They couldn't be with their friends. They weren't even allowed to eat with them. They couldn't see them. They couldn't hug them. Nothing. Wouldn't that make you really sad? I would be really sad if I couldn't see my family. Well, you see, these 10 men, in this time it was 10 men, they had this leprosy. And they couldn't get better and they had no idea what to do and they were so sad and as you can see there's our ten men and they were so sad because they just wanted to go back to the city with their family and their friends and so they heard about Jesus healing all these people and they thought well if Jesus can heal them surely he can heal us too and so one day they were waiting alongside of their road because they knew that Jesus was coming. And so they waited and they waited. They didn't want to rush up to him because if they got close to him, they thought, well, if we get too close, Jesus could get this too. We don't want Jesus to get this sickness. And so they waited. And whenever they saw Jesus coming close to them, they started shouting, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. Well, of course, Jesus was going to go over to them. And they thought, wait, you can't get close to us. He said, I'm not worried. It's okay. I'm going to heal you. So, you know, kids, this kind of comes back to the whole fear thing that we've been talking about all week, the last couple of weeks, how we don't have to fear things because Jesus is there to take care of us. He's going to help us get better, just like he's helping these men get better. And so he rushed over and he said, okay, well, let's, let's go ahead. I'm going to, I'm going to heal you. Well, you know, I don't know about you, but if I saw all these people coming, I might have been a little scared and been like, nope, going the other way. Not Jesus. He went right over there with them. And so the men were so happy that they could hardly even believe it. So Jesus went over and he helped to heal them. Let's see, there they all are. There's Jesus with them. Jesus is talking to them and he's going to make them all better. And sure enough, that's what he did. He made their skin all better. They couldn't even believe it. He had healed their skin. <gasps> they have waited so long for their body to be healed. And Jesus did just that. Look how happy they are. They thought, oh my goodness, look at my skin. It's all better. It's all healed. Jesus, you did it. Wow. And Jesus said, okay, now you can go back into the city. Tell the priest that you are healed. And he'll let you back in with your family and your friends. And they just, I mean, I, I don't know about you, if I was that sick and Jesus all of a sudden healed me, I would be pretty thankful. Well, you see, out of ten of those, only one guy came back to tell him thank you. Thank you is such a big thing, right? We always need to make sure that we are saying thank you when somebody does something so nice for us. Just like we have to thank Jesus for everything we have, too. 
So that one man came back and he said, thank you, thank you, thank you for healing me. He was just so grateful. He fell to his knees and he thanked him so many times. And God, and Jesus said, go, you may go now. Your faith has healed you. And so he went back into the city to see his friends and his family. There he goes. But if you look back at one of our pictures here, let me find it. You can see here how he stopped to say thank you, but those other nine, they kept on going. But we always need to be like this guy, the good Samar the Samaritan. We need to remember to say thank you for everything. Jesus does amazing things, just like he's doing amazing things in our lives here today. We don't have to be fearful of everything that's going on around us. All we have to do is stop we hold our hands and we pray to God and pray to Jesus for they are always listening. They love it when we thank them, just like your mommies and daddies and your family and brothers. Everybody loves whenever you tell them, thank you for doing something. Thank you for getting me my breakfast. Thank you for putting me to bed. Thank you for making my room clean. All these things that we have to be thankful for. So remember, this week I want you to try to think of 10 things. For the 10 lepers that Jesus healed. 10 things that you're thankful for, okay? So let's, let's go over this story again and think about this. Do you remember what the disease was that they were called? Were they, did they have uh, cheetah disease? No. Did they have the flu? No. They had leprosy. Can you say leprosy? Yeah. And how many of them were there? Were there five? No. Were there 15? No, there were 10. And out of those 10, how many came back to say thank you to Jesus? All 10 of them? That would have been pretty great. But nope, only one came back to say thank you. All 10 of them really should. 10. All 10 of them should have came back to say thank you, but only one did. So we need to be like that one that came back and always say thank you. For we have so much in this world to be thankful for. And we need to remember that, okay? So I don't have any crazy craft this week. But I do have a coloring sheet for you guys to color if your parents or somebody could print it out for you, okay? It has our one leper that made sure to say thank you. And it shows the other guys running off. They really should have turned around and came back, huh? So let's go ahead. We have to say thank you, of course, okay? So let's fold our hands and close our eyes. Dear Lord, thank you so much for each one of these boys and girls that are listening to your stories. Lord, I thank you for their parents, and I thank you for all that you do for us. I pray this in your name. Amen. Okay, so who wants to sing Jesus Loves Me? I do. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so, little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Let's do our fun one, okay? So we're going to do it slow, and then we'll do it fast. So shake it out for me. Okay, you ready? I'm in right out, right up, right down, right happy all the time. I'm in right out, right up, right down, right happy all the time. Since Jesus came to me, I'm happy as can be. I'm in right out, right up, right down, right happy all the time. All right, let's do it a little faster. So do it faster, we have to shake it out faster. Shake it out real fast. Okay. I'm in right out, right up, right down, right happy all the time. I'm in right out, right up, right down, right happy all the time. Since Jesus came to me, I'm happy as can be. I'm in right out, right up, right down, right happy as can be. Okay, that was fun. Let's do, if you're happy and you know it, because we have so much to be thankful for that we can be happy about. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your life will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. 
If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your life will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout amen, amen. If you're happy and you know it, shout amen, amen. If you're happy and you know it, then your life will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout amen, amen. All right, well, I hope you guys remembered that we have so much to be thankful for. And if you can and you want, have your parents send me a message this week to tell me what you're thankful about, okay? Bye.